strong. How did you feel individually about your own performance during the match? Oh, probably like the first game was um, it was a yeah, it wasn't the hardest game, but we could have done a lot better. Cause took it to advantage, I reckon. Only scored three tries when we could have scored six. What about you? Uh, played, played good. Just try to you know get out there, and make it you know just make it known that we're here. Yeah, our first game was pretty easy, but. As Cal said, kind of took advantage of it with how easy they were. We did some more plays. How did the weather or playing conditions affect the games and your team's performance? It's very hot, very hot. It, especially in these very thick jerseys, it's it's like yeah, he's sweating like a pig. So, it's crazy. Yeah. Trying to trying to keep going out there in this heat is just not helping us. Yeah, the back more covered a bit. What are your thoughts on the overall experience of playing these matches, both positive and negative? It's great, great for the fitness because it's only nine, so running around the park the whole day. But um, negative. Oh, you need gel more, work as a team. How do your team's gameplay change during the match, and how effective was it? Uh, we just really tried to focus on playing very simple. We haven't changed too much. Our goal's just going to the hold onto the footy and push up um, downfield and yeah, tackle as best we can. How did the team's dynamic and communication contribute to the outcome of the game? Yeah, the boys well, obviously is very noticeable when they're talking to each other, especially in defence. There's um, a lot more positive outcomes. So, you know, communication is really important, but obviously in nines, when there's less people on the field, it makes it a bit harder because of the fatigue that's brought into the game. So a lot of them are tighter, so it makes the communication a bit harder. And what are your thoughts on the overall experience of playing in these matches, both positive and negative? Yeah, it's really good just to get out here and the boys get plenty of footy, plenty of um, game time, and it's good for their fitness, which is really good building into next um, term. Um, probably no real negatives, only if someone gets hurt, I guess, but no, a real positive day for everyone. How do you think your team performed overall during the matches? Uh, I think we performed pretty well, you know, around the ruck it was pretty good. Um, possession, got to hold the ball a little bit more, but our defence is pretty solid and yeah, the boys are having a crack today, so uh, it's good to see. Uh, what are your thoughts on the overall experience playing this match, both negative and positive? Um, we've done very well, we've done very bad. Uh, Stephen Boogie's got one catch ball. <laughs> Jamie, where are you? How do you think your team like works together? Um, our team has worked very well today giving the little experience we have had playing together, um, Jamin. Are there any personal like, critiques I've, you give yourself? I haven't played this game before. It's my first year, second game, I think, yeah. Jamin, what are your personal critiques? Uh, yeah, you know, full credit to the boys. Uh, we're doing pretty well out there. You know, we haven't played that much. We've only played uh, about three 10 minute, 12 minute games up in DD trials. And, uh, uh, as the day has gone past, it just looks like we're, uh, we're getting better together. And how do you think your coach went, you know, like, getting you prepared for this? He's, you know, he yells a bit, but that's what you need, a uh, footy coach. You know, he does the right things, he says the right stuff, he's a smart coach, he knows what he's talking about. On the overall experience of playing in these matches, both positive and negative. Um, positives is that the girls are improving every single game. They've been doing so well. Um, I don't really have any negatives. It's just been a really good day. So your guys' thoughts? I think we've done really well because we really like we gained more confidence over the time, and we've been doing like way better in our games. Yeah, and we've gelled together as a team. How did the weather or playing conditions affect learn oh, I'm lost. affect the game or your team performance? Um, it's really hot. It's muggy. I think the girls are getting a little bit puffed by the end of the game. But we're holding it together pretty good. We have a few subs today, so subbing when they're getting tired, yeah. How do you feel individually about your own performance during the match? Um, I think I've done pretty well because 
this is my like this is my second time playing this year. So I think I've done very like I've improved so much in like playing, and I've gained a lot of confidence. Uh, I think I've improved too over the past few weeks. I have my off games and sometimes good games. How do you think you did coaching? Um, good. <laughs> this is the best. Yeah, just keeping it positive out there, having some fun. That's what it's about. Uh, so, being the captain, how do you think you handled the team in the game? Um, I believe I handled it very well, actually, as I encouraged them to like keep moving and like to continue um, pushing forward, and I try to like tell them to, like it's fine girls like don't give up like we're doing really well how do you think your own performance reflects on your team i think if i keep using the encouragement i have and i put 110 percent effort into games and i use the abilities wisely then the other girls will start to learn from that and they will start using them in their own game how do you think your team performed overall during the matches? Overall they played pretty well considering we only had one sub and a little bit battered and bruised but I think they did pretty well today. Yeah. How did the team dynamic and communication contribute to the outcome of the game? Our communication the first game was a little bit uh, lacking and I think that's what hurt us a little bit but picked up after that because communication especially in rugby league is very uh, in attack and defence so um, it's uh, it was better after the first game but um, definitely can still improve. What do you think were the strengths and weaknesses of the opposing team? Of the opposing team? Uh, size, a lot bigger than our girls. Um, can hit pretty hard. Um, but our girls probably got a lot more heart and toughness, which is good, considering we only had one sub, as I said. Um, but yeah, the other teams were, I think, a lot bigger, which is what happens most of the time when we play. And is there anything that you would think maybe to help the girls a bit more the next time they play? Um, I think to come back to communication. I think girls really know how to play structuredly and whatnot. Um, it's just talking out there, making sure we're talking in defence, and um, the points will come after that. How do you believe that you went as the captain of this team? Um, personally, I think we did really well. Um, probably needed to encourage the girls a little bit further just because we were a little bit nervous going up against the switch. How do you think your team went as a whole working together? As a whole we did really well considering we only had one sub. Um, yeah, the girls really tried hard and really pushed through. Is there any individual critiques you would give yourself or maybe to some of the other girls? Um, just against the Ipswich girls, we do get a little bit nervous just because they are a bit bigger, but um, they tend to be a little bit lazier in tackles and they don't hit as hard, so we just need to sort of boost our confidence in those areas. Yep, and how do you believe that your coach like uh, prepared you for these games? Um, our coach did his very best to prepare us. It was um, the trainings after school that really helped us, even though we struggle to get numbers at training sometimes. but. Um, yeah, no, he did really well to sort of boost our confidence when we were feeling a little bit low. And is there one more thing that you would improve personally? Um, personally, maybe, yeah, just trying to encourage the girls a bit more. Sometimes I don't think I'm, like, the most um, encouraging. I can use positive words, but just, yeah, we sometimes seem to just not have the energy that we need to go into the game. What were some of the key moments or turning points in the game from your perspective? Did we get that try to? Um, what? Probably our teamwork when we like to spread the ball out to the wing. Um, what else did we do? Probably off the first kickoff when they dropped the ball when we gained possession. Good. Were uh, there any specific challenges or obstacles that your team faced during the game and how did you overcome them? Um, before games, not being as worried and we overcome it with um, telling our teammates don't be worried and just run hard. <laughs> Were there any um, like personal critiques that you had, like anyone that you think you could improve? Yeah, we tackled and we weren't spreading the ball as much, so we worked on that. And how do you think your communication was? Yeah, yeah, really well yeah. 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 And 
And how do you think you'll start the game right? Preparing yourself. Yeah, he did really good. He told us the advice he needed to know and just let him play and just work out how he does it.